All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with young Christian. Christian is 12 years old. Oh, all right, see, he's awake. Yeah, Christian is 12 years old. What well, tell us what from his Christian? Um, Christian suffered, um, cerebral, suffered from cerebral palsy. Okay. He, was, he suffered a brain damage when he was born. Okay. And from ever since he cannot walk, cannot talk, he solely depends on someone to care for him. All right. Um, well, I have been been teaching for the past years. You're, you're a teacher? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, it's been difficult for me. I have had different di different babysitters to come and take care of my How son. How has that worked? It has been challenging. I have had some babysitters that would say would feed him. And when I go home, my son um, will still be there. Oh my goodness. Um, some of them will give the, um, the dogs the, his food. Really? And don't feed Christian. People actually do that? Yes, they did that to me when I lived in, Lady, in Belize with my husband when he was alive. Uh -huh. And um, I ha had had um, babysitters go into my house and steal oh my. personal stuff, um, wear my um, different things that I have at home. The personal yes, things. Yes, personal yes. stuff. And they would neglect my son. Sometimes I would find him um, when I would come home bruised. Oh, they pinch him? They bruise him, they accidentally would fall, they would let him fall. I, they won't even tell me right. until in the night and I would sit and... Wow. I don't remember when was the last time I had a good night's sleep. But I'm also, um, you know, I'm also seeking for a better opportunity for myself. Uh -huh. I am going back to school uh, uh, at the University of Belize. Uh -huh. I took on, took on that challenge because I said, I know that he's getting older, he's gonna need more things. Yeah. And I'm the only one providing for him. Right. I have my parents here providing a shelter for me. They help me how they can. Right. And now the airport has closed and my dad cannot help me like I know Mr. P. Ron talks to years at airport. He cannot help me like how he used to help me right, right. so it's, a, it's 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 harder no yeah. and moreover i'm at 80 percent pay you know i'm not getting my regular pay like because of the covid know, again because of um, study leave oh study leave. leave oh okay 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 you know so it's so what are some of the items that you would need to help your son with um the most, besides the pampers the pampers um probably wipes wipes nice little things big, like that some wipes, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. ready? Have we, we brought some whites. Okay. This was a donation from Las Vegas. Okay, thank you very much. And some pampers we received from Las Vegas. A little, Belize and Lady who came in, no? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. pampers, whites, and his medication? Um, How his, do you get his medication? I usually, well, I usually buy it. And I have a sister in law who tries to get it for me from a, from a friend. Uh -huh. So, that's the only way how I manage to get what the medication. What does the medication cost? It's, well, the battle. Has like a thirty dollars and you only bring in about twenty. And how long does that last? About almost a, just like one month. One, one approximately. Month.